like. Yeah, please. Just don't press. No, nothing. Red, we don't touch it. <laughs> the red buttons. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, this is uh, the bridge. I am the officer of the watch from 12 to 4. Okay. Uh, my name is Mark. And, yeah. <clears throat> so on the ship, we have two engines. We have the port engine and starboard engine. Okay. At the moment, we're in full speed. Uh, you can see the the indicators from the port engine and starboard engine is coming red ready. So <laughs> okay, we're in it's full, full throttle. Full throttle to reach Antarctica. What is the uh, capacity of the engine? How much uh, horsepower or kilowatt? Uh, horsepower, uh, it's uh, 2,000 horsepower each. Each, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. And also we have the bow thruster. Uh, what is this? Bow thrusters. Okay. So the bow thruster is on the bow, on the forward of the ship. There's a tunnel. Okay. Which go through and through on the in each side and there's a like a propeller okay. on the center. Okay. So well, if you put the bow thrusters to starboard, it goes to thrust the port and the ship goes to starboard. The okay, bow, okay, only okay, the bow. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, so that's how you change the direction? No. No. Th we change the direction through the rudder still. Oh, okay. So there's a flaps on this is the propeller from the stern, there's a flaps. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And with the use of the rudder then changes the angles. Okay, okay. So we use this one. Okay. When last time when we are on port side alongside. Yeah. So if you put the bow thruster to starboard, the bow goes like this, right? Okay, uh -huh. yeah. And starboard engine, the captain goes starboard engine ahead and port engine astern. So we keep the sti the ship still. Okay. It, okay. It will not go forward and up. So the stern goes like this. Okay, okay, okay. With the bow thruster to starboard and it goes like oh. sideways. Oh, okay. So it, uh, it undocking the ship. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because we have seen some cruise ships, big ones, mm -hmm. are being pushed by two boats to the side. Yeah, sometimes for the cruise ships, um, we have enough um, equipment, like instruments, like uh, thrusters, we have the engines to undock and dock itself. Okay. Not like on the cargo ships, they they have the propellers, propellers only, so yeah. they have no capacity to, to go into the to side, go alongside to go sideways. Yeah, yeah. Not like the passenger ships. Yeah, okay. So if the wind is stronger than the ship's capacity to undock by itself, then we need the tugboats. Oh, okay. That's that's the time only that we will be needed Use tugboat. because usually the tugboats are expensive. Also, yeah. it costs about. Um, five to seven thousand US dollars per tugboat Turbo. Oh. per service. Okay. So okay. if we could undock the, we could dock the ship by itself. Then we use by our equipments. Then it's much better for the company, of course. <laughs> what is that dial showing? The going. Yeah, this is uh, the gyro compass. Uh huh. Now oh, it's, it's the gyrometer, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's been set to one five three. The autopilot I've been using on it will be on that side on the calling station. Okay. I've set the course to one five three. Okay. And this is the uh, chart. This is the course line that we should follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what I'm doing now. I'm putting all the course line, and it will be approved by the captain afterwards. Oh, okay. Okay. So the navigation officer is putting the putting the course line to for the other officers also to follow okay yeah. okay so we're following the red line this the black one is the ship okay 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 this is the heading of the ship is going south okay the red line will be our track and the white area is the deeper water and the numbers here are the soundings of the chart oh, okay. so at the moment we are 3711 meters, meters deep Okay, and what is the red dotted line? Uh, this one. Yeah. That is uh, EBL, we oh. call it um, uh, electronic bearing uh, line. Okay. And sometimes we use that, sometimes not. Uh, it depends uh, if oh. we have a target. Because if you have a target, uh, if you have the other ships, and if the range i mean the distance of the ship is closing to you okay and the uh, ebl is yeah. the same the bearing of the ship is the same that means you have a 
a collision possibility. Oh, possibility. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you have to alter course, and that's mm -hmm. how we use the EBL. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this side steering uh, usually in this area and on that area is is just the is the same same or replica uh, replica yeah and okay. uh, we the captain uses this usually when undocking the ship or sometimes uh, when we are on ice so he got the steering he got the throttle he got the thrusters okay, okay. so he's, okay. he's calling from this this one at he can see the side of the vessel from here okay when okay. we are alongside okay 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 Oh yeah, yes. Mm, you can see it totally. Uh -huh. yes, yeah, yeah. These are the courtesy flags. Oh. And oh. Uh, also from the courtesy flags, we have the letter flags. Example letter A. Where we raise this uh, letter A when it it means that um, the ship has a uh, divers on the water. Mm -hmm. and then we raise we raise this uh, alpha flag. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's alpha. And the other are the country flags. Okay. We use this a uh, to pay respect for the port that we are going to. Ooh. When we're going to Argentina, then okay. we raise the Argentinian flag because okay. at the moment we are on Liberian. So you are now uh, stepping on a Liberian soil. Okay. And we are following a Liberian regulation because the ship is a Liberian registry. Okay. okay. So it was registered in Liberia, so we follow all the Liberian regulations. Okay. okay. But this land where you are sailing belongs to nobody, right? No. It's no. From Antarctica, yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes uh, a different <laughs> country. Yeah, yeah, claim, but. The claim, but yeah, claim. Imaginary. Yeah. Okay. So from here. We have again the small steering. Oh, and this, is this this and that big same, same job. Yeah, okay. Same job. Yeah. This is the autopilot. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Autopilot, you feed the coordinates and then start. So it we it feed only the heading, the, the course. Okay. The, as uh, like that one, the gyro compass. This okay. uh, digital. Digital. Yeah. Okay. And so this this information is controlled through the satellites through radar. Or? No, um, we plot first the course lines. Okay. Then if we have the course line already. Yeah. So the course line is one five four, so we set one five four and the ship follows one five four. Okay. If we need to debate the autopilot, just take over and alter course. Oh, okay, okay. And the ship started to go, go to the other starboard. Side. Yeah. Albatross is here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, it's altering course now. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, can yeah, see yeah. quickly yes, because yes, we yes. have waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just put back to one five seven. Yeah. And it will follow one five seven. What is one five seven? It is that degrees or? It's degrees. Okay. So the the gyro compass has. Um, from zero, it goes to uh, 360 degrees. Okay. So from north is zero. Uh, going south is uh, 180. Okay. okay. So okay. that means if like this one, if this one goes to the center, so you can see this one is zero degrees. This is 180 Ooh. degrees. Okay. This one is we're heading. Yeah, that is the radar. And this one. That is the electronic chart. It's the same from this one. Okay. But this one uh, I was using for planning for the next routes, for the next voyages. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Not this one, but on the next one. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, 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 okay. So we we start to plan early, like uh, months before the next voyages. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, we're, I'm just drawing the lines and everything, so and uh, captain after that uh, will approve this this is the antarctic area already yeah we're going from point to danke then okay 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 this manually you will have to feed these uh, coordinates yes okay. Manually you have to okay. It. Okay. And, uh, and of course you should have to be familiar also from the from the area yeah, uh, yeah. to because it's not a standard port 
Yes. yes. Just some yeah. names. Sometimes the area has been named from the person who discovered, discovered it. Discovered it, yeah. Yeah. yeah so and sometimes there is no name, it's only the coordinates. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so electronic chart, same as this one, electronic chart. Okay. And this, this one? This one is the OLEX, which is very important for us also as, okay. uh, to do the navigation because on Antarctic area, always there's an uncharted uh, area okay so that means the uncharted that means there's no um soundings so we don't know if it is shallow oh, or okay. deep so we have these routes from our previous routes also it's been recorded and also the routes from the other vessels okay, okay. so if as long as the ship follows the same routes okay the same path that that means that this area is deep already okay okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so it's especially in antarctic yeah yeah so as long as we are somewhere here okay okay it's a deep area because the ship has been sailed from that one this is our previous track okay this is from the other ships so oh. that means this area are deep Oh. Because some ships has been there already. Already, okay. okay. If you go on the white one, yeah, it's a shallow one. It's water. a shallow one water. because uh, nobody's been there, so you don't know actually okay. what's okay. there. And we will be traveling from here until where now? Until here. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is the uh, return uh, uh, Antarctic yeah. region. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And also below. Oh. oh, but we're going somewhere here only. Yeah. Okay. okay, in this area. Okay. This is the public address system. Tech plan. Uh, this is the high fog. Okay. The high fog is uh, uh, this one. Oh yeah. If okay. It reaches, for for uh, fire. For fire, it sprinkler. The sprinkler system. Okay. When it been heated something temperature that activates this one then it will activate them yeah. you'll have the shape to the bottom bottom yeah. yeah at the moment it will not give the correct uh sounding because this will be only until 300 meters that can uh <coughs> that gives an echo but this is the solar you can control from here and you have the monitors on both of the sides and anyway, this is HF radio and GPS, cell phones, yeah. and the steering. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like so you have steering at three, yeah. four places? Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, four. Five. five. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So usually the officer of the watch will be here and and also, of course, you can sit also and take pictures with yourself <laughs> if you like. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? These are the Global Maritime Distress um, GMDSS. Okay. Um, we have, <coughs> and here you can have the navigational warnings and also the forecast, ice forecast weather forecast uh, they're sending from this one do you get it from which from uh, from a coast stations oh, okay yeah okay. nearest coast stations so yeah this is gym this is and we have the mfhf medium and high frequency frequency okay uh, radio transmission for this yeah. and yeah as what i've said just don't press any red buttons then <laughs> it will give distress to the coast stations <laughs> <laughs> because if in case that uh, we are in distress, mm -hmm. we just come here okay. and just press the red button. Okay. Okay. Then it gives signals already that mm -hmm. um, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> expedition is um, facing some facing emergency. Yeah. Or you can type the type of distress, you're on okay. fire, you're grounding, mm -hmm. okay. or anything, uh, and send the distress message. But of course, we have the satellite phone. Could call immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And on this side, 
is the as what I've said is the just the replica. Replica of the, the yeah. And also, this is the control from the sonar, which can you have it from this monitor. Oh, okay. And again, electronic chart. Mm -hmm. 